Um, hello, brothers and sisters of Christ. Um, I came to give a word, uh, a word and a warning. Um, I keep hearing in my spirit the Lord keeps saying, "Seek He why, seek Him while you can, seek Him while you can." He gave me this word way back some months ago, and I posted it up on my Facebook because uh, I wasn't really into like this YouTube thing that I am now. But um, He's saying, "Seek Him while you can." Um, People already know there's so much going on in this world, but people are paying attention to the world on the outside of the world, and some of them are not like focusing to um, have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, with the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, the Lord is saying, seek Him while you can, because seek Him and Jesus while you can, because the thing is, um, that federal, it's going to be a time that you're trying to wipe the Lord word and him and jesus off the um you know the lord off the um off the face of the earth they don't want you to know the word of the lord so and everything is like um with this internet thing going on because it, you gotta understand there's demons behind this internet stuff even though it's a positive thing to come out of it but it's a negative too um so they trying to be in control of this internet thing so everything is internet now everything is internet now so they making all these smart TVs, everything. So everything is internet now. They over, they're going to be over control over that. Or also control over a lot of other things since the Antichrist is coming. Um, but they're going to be able to tell you what you can't watch, who you can't watch. If they don't like who said this, and they're going to say, well, if you say Jesus, they're going to block you. They're going to delete you off. They're going to start disconnecting people that want to give the truth out into the world. They're going to disconnect those people. And then, like we said, you know, it said in the word, expect to be us Christians accept the, uh, to accept to be uh, prosecuted. So we know that these things are coming. But that's why the Lord is saying, seek him while you can. And he also saying also for evildoers. It's time for people to repent. The evildoers, the wickedness, time for to repent. Us, we have to repent every day. We don't even know when our time going to come. But God is moving real quickly. And those that know the word of the Bible and you know that it's guidance. And you read your Bible and you can see how things happen around. Go to um, look, in, and look on the news of other countries and stuff like uh, And other states like uh, uh, other places like Australia, Europe, those foreign countries. Those things, people, are, there are things happening over there that they don't post over here in um, our news. Um, so, like, they're having, like, now if you don't get vaccinated, you don't even can get food or something. So, it's all a setup. It's setting the stage up for the Antichrist, even though it's already, and it's many Antichrists running around over the earth. But it's setting it up for the main one. Um, so, God has gave me Isaiah 55, um, 6 through 9. So, we're going to read this. All like I tell you guys, get the Bible for you, read your Bible for yourself. Don't go on what I say. I'm just a messenger to give you the word what the Lord told me to give you guys. Um, it says, number six, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God. And for he will abundantly pardon. He will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my, your ways are my ways. For the for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So right here, also speaking about the wicked. So God already know. I already told y'all, um, if you look on my videos, I already seen God had told me about um, Babylon. And he had said that the final fall, the fall of Babylon is final. So he already made his made up of his mind that he's fit to let destruction and judgment come up onto Babylon, which is a new you know the new america uh america's a new babylon that he's tired he wiped his hand it's too much evilness going on so expect things to come so it's a shift that's in the atmosphere right now um i could feel it so uh the lord already had you know me working on things and i discussed it with other people so uh um about with the food shortage and stuff like that so it's a shift in the atmosphere and the lord is warning people right now seeking why he can because he know what's coming next and he also said for the evil people, for wicked and the evil people, and the people that are lost, y'all need to seek him while you can. We have to repent, all of us. We need to repent and seek him while you can because judgment is coming and the wicked will wither away and the righteous will be rewarded. I keep telling y'all that. He is about to do some terrible things on this earth. 
and and all, it's, it's on its way. It's moving quickly than what we think it is. People always think we got no time. It's got no time. Even though we don't, in, uh, the word says nobody know when the Lord is coming, but he come like a thief in the night. Don't know what hour, what time he coming, but you pay attention to your word. You read your word. You see how quick the thing is going. You see where it said, this is your guidance right here. There's so much going on and God is speaking. And um, it's going to be a lot of y'all. They're going to wish you had your mama. That auntie, that grandma, that pastor, that friend, that one that brought you the word of the Lord, and you didn't want to hear it, you rejected it. It's coming time. It's coming that you're going to wish you had them people. You ain't better. It says seek the Lord while you can. You're going to wish you had them people in your life. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be some of destruction on this world. You're going to wish you had somebody give you a word. You're going to wish somebody give you some guidance. You're going to wish you had that person. You're going to wish you would have repented. And even for the wickedness, the evildoers, God already given warnings out to them too. It's time to turn. God loves everybody. He giving people chances to try to turn around, turn their life. He giving you this last chance. This is a warning. He's doing his last roll call. Y'all, we got to get it together. And they trying to wipe the Lord. The Lord and, 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 the, and Jesus and the word off the flakes of the earth. How are you going to do that? And the Lord created the, the world. and uh, He the one that created the world. The earth. How are you going to take some away to somebody and gave to you? <laughs> well, do you, Lord, forgive them for what they do not know. And the thing is, I think that the point is, you know how it is when you you an individual, you get tired of people taking advantage and taking advantage of you and taking you for granted. We all have been taking advantage of the Lord and taking it for granted. The Lord is tired. He said enough is enough. Lord, forgive us. You know how I feel yourself. You instead of taking advantage of somebody and you're not grateful, instead of taking them and doing them any kind of way, they giving you something, you instead of beating them across their back, you get tired. You don't want nobody to do you like that. So what you how you expect them to feel? It's time. And then don't even have time to apologize. Some of them so much pride, you don't even want to apologize to the Lord. Don't even want to apologize to the ones he don't bless you with, they help you with, and you just want to take advantage of them. I don't know where that light coming from. But uh oh yeah. But um, yeah, don't even want to take event don't even want to apologize. God giving giving us warnings and warnings after warnings and after warnings. How many warnings gonna take you to wake up? But he said in these times he's gonna send a spirit of delusion. He goes he said in these times you already know. It's so many people not gonna even enter into the gates of heaven. Even he say even the ones that they think they so holy and molly, them the ones they still be deceived. They not gonna make it through. That's why we gotta be humble. We gotta humble ourselves, and we ain't never too perfect for the next man or better than the next man. We gotta stay humble, y'all. Don't ever think you're too high and mighty for the <laughs> high and mighty. Shoot, only one high and mighty is the Lord and Jesus Christ, His Son. The creator, his son, no, no, only two high and mighty. We got to get it together, y'all. We got to stay humble at all times. Apologize for everything. For, forgive those that you want to be forgiven. Because none of us are perfect. But we strive hard for, hard in Jesus Christ every day, y'all. This is what I'm just saying. Don't give up. And those who fell short and you think you can't pick yourself up and think, don't stay there. Like I keep telling you, don't stay there. Dust yourself off. Repent and keep on pushing. That what Satan wants you to do. Stay bound, cause then there'll be another soul in hell with him. Don't get an enemy. Don't get an enemy no joy. You better than that. God died for our sins. Jesus and died for our sins. Man was hung on a cross for us. Had blood and tears for us. Don't stay down, y'all. Ain't nothing you did too hard for God to forgive you. You be humble and be sincere and go to the Lord. He going to take care of everything. Well, I hope this blesses y'all. We got to get it together, y'all. <sighs> Seek the Lord while you can, guys. We got to do this every day, every minute, every hour.
And he's a forgiving God, a loving God. So seek him while you can. God be blessed. In Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. You're praying for me. I'm praying for me. I'm praying for her. That we all have strength and glory to the end. And the Lord build our strength and our faith in him. So y'all be blessed. May this bless you guys. Bye.